More than 90 people died when an overcrowded makeshift ferry sank off the north coast of Mozambique, local authorities said the converted fishing boat, carrying about 130 people, ran into trouble as it tried to reach an island off Nampula province, officials said the vessel was an overloaded fishing boat and was not licensed to transport people. Because the boat was overcrowded and unsuited to carry passengers it ended up sinking. There are 91 people who lost their lives, said Nampula's Secretary of State Jamie Neto. Many children were among the victims, he added. Rescuers had found five survivors and were searching for more, but sea conditions were making the operation difficult. The boat was ferrying people from Lunga in Nampula province to Mozambique Island. Most passengers were trying to escape the mainland because of a panic caused by disinformation about cholera, Neto said. Nampula province has been one of the worst affected by the cholera outbreak which has spread over several countries in southern Africa since January last year. The southern African country, one of the world's poorest, has recorded almost 15,000 cases of the waterborne disease and 32 deaths since October, according to government data. Nampula is the worst affected region, accounting for a third of all cases. An investigative team was working to find out the cause of the boat disaster, the official said, Mozambique which has a long Indian Ocean coastline. And home to more than 30 million people, it is regularly hit by destructive cyclones. Over 2,500 houses were flooded in Russia's Orenburg region, 4,208 people were evacuated from the emergency zone, according to the press service of the regional government. As of April 6, 2,556 residential buildings and 6,886 household plots have been flooded due to active snowmelt and rising river levels caused by spillways in the region. At the same time, 4,208 people were evacuated, including 1,019 children, while 427 people, including 132 children, are being put in temporary accommodation centers, the statement said. In addition, 306 farm animals were moved from flood zones to safe areas. The flood is at its peak. The situation is difficult in several territories, especially in Orsk due to a dam break. But people are safe, everyone who evacuated is warm and provided with food. Experts continue to deal with technical issues, the press service quoted the governor of the Orenburg region Dennis Passler. Officials say 10,000 residents may be in the flooding zone and up to 4,000 houses could be inundated. Work in the area of the dam rupture in Orsk continues, the Russian Emergencies Ministry said in a statement, adding that around 440 people and 217 pieces of equipment were involved in the effort Russian state media said residents of two of the three districts of Orsk were being evacuated. Citizens of the Leninsky and Savitsky districts of Orsk are being evacuated to temporary accommodation centers, the regional prosecutor's office said in a message Orsk has a population of about 230,000. The evacuees are being moved to nearby schools, the region, which includes Orsk, other Urals provinces and parts of neighboring Kazakhstan, has been hit by widespread flooding in recent days. Собака бежит по воде. Да, вон.
собака бежит по воде. Да, вон. Вот пошла вода по трассе. Ужас. Все полное. Все затоплено, все полностью.